Kia, one of the world's largest auto and EV manufacturers, has announced that they are officially supporting bi-directional EV charging. This marks one of the first times that an EV manufacturer is officially supporting a third-party V2H charger. Are other EV manufacturers going to follow suit? We're going to investigate, and I'm going to give you a full breakdown on Kia's bi-directional capabilities in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about the recent announcement by Kia and Wallbox that they are working together and supporting bi-directional EV charging. Now, just yesterday, Solar Power World reported that Wallbox announced a successful deployment of a handful of installations using their bi-directional EV charger along with the Kia EV9. So what is this bi-directional EV charging? Well, very simply, bi-directional EV charging is the ability to charge your electric vehicle using power from the home, that could be utility power or pulling solar power from the rooftop, but it's also the ability for the home's energy system to draw energy out of the electric vehicle when needed, uh, either for backup power for the home, uh, or under certain circumstances, you may wanna export that excess energy to the grid if the power company is willing to pay you a premium for it. So what's the big deal with bi-directional EV charging? Well, very simply, it is one of the lowest cost per kilowatt hour forms of energy storage available. You know, some of these electric vehicles have 100 kilowatt hours, even some up to 200 kilowatt hours of battery storage just sitting there in the vehicle. And so purchasing the same equivalent capacity in home batteries could easily cost you over $100,000. So if you've already made the investment in purchasing an electric vehicle, it'd be great to be able to tap into that capacity and use it as part of your home's energy system. And of course, it also means that whole home solar and battery backup is now practical. You know, most home batteries that are on the market today are somewhere in the 10 to 15 kilowatt hour range. But electric vehicle batteries, like I said, could easily be 100 or even up to 200 kilowatt hours, which is enough to power the standard US home for three to six days, even if you didn't have any excess solar power coming in. All right, so let's talk about the technical specs on this Wallbox and Kia combination. Now, the model that was deployed was the Wallbox Quasar 2 along with the Kia EV9. Now, in terms of charge rate, the Quasar 2 supports 12.8 kilowatts of DC charging or 11 and a half kilowatts AC charge. Now, from what I can tell, that 12.8 kilowatts DC limit also applies to solar that may be connected to the system. So although they do not publish a specific solar input limit, it appears that 12.8 kilowatts of usable DC power is all you're going to be able to push through the system. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC-coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Now, in terms of battery capacity, that's gonna be determined by the battery in the vehicle. According to Kia's website, the highest capacity EV9 that they have available has a 100 kilowatt hour battery. Now again, folks, that's massive when you're talking about home backup. The typical US home only consumes 30 kilowatt hours of energy in a 24 hour period, which means that a single fully charged battery, in theory, could run your home for three full days on a single charge. According to Kia's website, the bi-directional EV feature is available as part of their Connect One package, which is optional for the Kia EV9s. So why is all this notable? Well, most of the electric vehicle companies are going more of the proprietary route. So companies like Tesla, Ford, GM, if you wanna use their bi-directional EV charging capabilities, they pretty much want you to use their equipment, their EV charger, their software, et cetera. But when we look at this combination of Wallbox and their Quasar 2 working with Kia, this is an example of two manufacturers having to agree to interoperate and kind of play, play nice with each other so that ultimately homeowners and consumers out there can get this capability 
uh, and be able to, to, to take advantage and get the most out of this technology. I know many of you watching this channel have been eagerly anticipating a market-ready bi-directional EV charging solution, and it appears with Wallbox and Kia, we are very close to having one. You know, one of the concerns from the EV manufacturers is that if they expose their battery to be used by a solar system or, or bi-directional charging system, that it's going to wear out the battery prematurely. So they might be concerned with shortening of the battery life or lessening of the battery capacity. So that's one thing that I think we're still seeing a lot of the EV makers have to sort out is if they are going to officially support bi-directional charging for vehicle to home or vehicle to grid, what exactly are those usage limits? Are they going to expose the entire battery or maybe will they will they only allow to use, let's say 50 or 60% of the battery to prevent it getting drained too low? And then what, what number of cycles? Is there any limit to the number of cycles or how that might affect the vehicle battery warranty? So there are still a lot of questions around this area, but this marks a significant step forward in demonstrating that an EV manufacturer can work nice or play nice with a an EV charger, a third party EV charger or solar equipment manufacturer to ultimately deliver the capability that homeowners are demanding. Now, of course, we have been following another company, Sig Energy, that debuted their DC integrated bi-directional EV charger earlier this year, and they demonstrated a successful test with a Ford F-150 Lightning, as well as with a Rivian vehicle uh, and a Mercedes-Benz EQB. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video, go back and watch our previous video on bi-directional EV charging is finally here, where you can see that demonstration and some of the live footage in more detail. So this has been a discussion of Wallbox and Kia's recent announcement that they have a working bi-directional EV charging deployment. Folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That'll tell the YouTube algorithm to show you more videos like this. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Now, if you're in the process of looking at bi-directional EV charging options, options or solar and battery options for your home. If you need to get a price quote, or maybe if you already have a quote and need to get a comparison, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with one of our experts or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage cost in your area. But that pretty much does it with today's announcement. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.